Welcome to Performance Product Technologies and allowing us the opportunity at earning your business. The Marine Engines video series is a multi-installment video series covering the topic of boat repowering. This applies to stern drive engines and outboard engines as well. The first installment of this series covers the topic of the recent EPA regulations and how they apply to repowering. So from the homepage here at www.perfprotect.com, if you will go to the section called Repowering Guide right here towards the top, you'll notice it takes you to a page called the Engine and Stern Drive Repowering Guide. And there's it's broken out into several different steps here, the first of which is step number one, understanding your options regarding the new 2010 EPA rules. If you will, click on the link right next to it that says Read More, and it will open a window that you can expand, and you will see that the page starts out here, Repowering Stern Drive and Inboard Marine Engines with 2010 EPA Exhaust Emissions Regulations. As the article here uh, indicates, things have changed significantly over the years, uh, especially starting late 2009, early 2010, with regards to the EPA regulations. And we've tried to take this topic and break it down into six basic steps that give you what your options are. In the beginning, the EPA was not gonna allow any option other than a catalyst equipped engine to be used for repowering a, a existing boat that had an engine that was needing to be replaced. However, they have made some provisions to this, uh, but, it, but it does, tend to make things more complicated in what options you actually have. So if we just go through the options here, we're just going to start with number one, repower with a new catalyst equipped Mercruiser or Volvo Penta MPI Bobtail Marine Engine. So you can go down here to the note that ties to that, and you can read the note here that Mercruiser does not include the catalyst option as standard equipment on all models. Each manufacturer is going to be different with regards to this on how they handle it, whether they offer an engine without catalyst anymore, so forth and so on. But you notice there's a blue hyperlink that says see available products. So when we're talking about Mercruiser or Volvo Penta, we'll keep that in mind. And you can go to this page and then depending on what size engine you're dealing with, we'll just go to small V8 for this example. And you'll notice, first of all, that you have a color-coded chart. Going down the left-hand side is the engine model designation, and then across the top is the different manufacturers. You'll also notice the colors here do indicate other features like catalyst not included on the yellow, so you have to add that in. And then uh, orange catalyst not included, you have to add in a different cost for that, and so forth and so on. But on each one of these, you can click on the links that are available, and it will allow you to open up a detailed description of that particular product. From this point, if you want to just hit the back arrow at the top of your browser, it'll take us back to the main repowering page, and we're going to move on to option number two, which is return the old engine for a new non-catalyst equipped um, or cruiser carburetor or MPI engine. Not all manufacturers are offering this option, Mercruiser, uh, pushed it in the beginning, kind of get the impression they're not pushing it as hard now because the delivery times that we have listed down here seem to have pushed out from four to six weeks to more like 14 to 16 weeks. You have to keep in mind this is a non-standard build for them. It's not something they're set up to handle on a regular basis since they're trying to build high volume catalyst equipped engines for the new boat builders. Uh, however, there is an option here that if, if you're willing to return your old engine, it's kind of like the cash for clunkers uh, project where you return the old car and you got a new one. In this case, you return the old engine, they take it out of service, so they're not putting any new emissions uh, into the atmosphere beyond what the old engine was. Uh, so it's something to consider. Once again, not all the manufacturers are allowing it. Uh, therefore, it's not going to be an option with all of them. However, it is why the, the engines are priced the way they are when you go to the link and you show the table there. Uh, they're priced as the base engine and then the catalyst being added in to it. Uh, however, you're going to have to be aware that you're going to have to return the old engine and, and it's going to take some time to get all that coordinated. Uh, moving on down to option number three, uh, go with a different manufacturer's product line since 
the engine manufacturers have different product volumes that they produce on an annual basis. EPA didn't go after the smaller manufacturers in the beginning. So companies like Marine Power, Crusader, PCM, Enmar, these guys were not regulated right off the get-go. So there's still a chance that if that's the product line you have, that there may be an opportunity to get an engine without catalyst uh, equipment being installed on it. It's kind of more a case-by-case -case basis, and, and it'll just depend on what engine you have and what engine you have to go with. But you, you can be sure that if it's a Mercury or a Volvo Penta product, then it's going to have catalyst requirement uh, for that. So once again, here next to option three, we have the uh, link set up, which will take you to the table, and then you can select your specific engine model and go from there. Uh, moving down to option number four, go with a mercury remanufacturing or CPO product. Since the remanufactured product or certified pre-owned means an engine that was already out in service creating uh, emissions in the atmosphere, they treat it as something that happened before the, the regulation date. So mercury has really stepped up and taken advantage of this, and that is the program they're pushing for repowering. They realize the catalyst requirement is going to make it difficult for repowering so they are offering a product line through the remanufacturing group where they take a long block remanufacture it and then put new hardware on it and sell that as a non-catalyst equipped motor and that gets around all the epa requirements uh, has the similar warranty you can add mercury product protection onto it and come out with extended warranty on it if you have issue with remanufactured versus new. So it's a very good option uh, to go from there. So then next, you'll notice that there's a link here that says read more on mercury remanufactured products. If you want to select that, you can expand this window and you will see that there's a couple of links here for Mercruiser remanufacturing and local build versus factory remanufacture that basically gives you a couple of videos and shows what the process is for remanufacturing these engines. It's actually quite extensive. Uh, it's not basically uh, just a rebuilt engine. They go through a very similar manufacturing process to the new engines, and this just does a pretty good job at, at outlining that. If you want to close that window after you look through there, you also notice back here on option four that for the certified pre-owned, there's a pretty good explanation. If you click on that link, it'll open up a window. You can expand that. You can go down here and read basically exactly what it is, how they're tested, uh, the process, and then it also indicates the warranty and that they are uh, or they do qualify for the Mercury Extended Protection, which is another very good option for those as well. So if you want to close that window, and then we'll go down to option number five out of the six that we have to work with today. Uh, option number five is go with a partial engine. Uh, at this point, new partial engines do not require returning the old marine engine being replaced. However, EPA is beginning to require the purchasing customer to sign an affidavit indicating they will destroy the old long block being replaced. They're not really pushing that yet, but basically it's kind of like the cash for clunkers thing again. They're saying if you go with a new engine, even if it's just a long block, that you could take the old long block, sell it, and it's still out emitting emissions into the atmosphere. And then if a new long block is sold, they basically added one to the overall situation. So they really aren't pushing that yet. However, in the future, it's probably going to come to that. But if you notice here, next to option five, there is another see available products window. If you click that, it will take you to the available 4.3 small block V8s and big blocks within the partial engine category, which then you can go here and look at what options you have that fit that criteria for uh, partially dressed engines and so forth. If we back arrow back to the main repowering page, You'll also notice here that there's another link, read more on what's included with a long block. In the video installment number two of this series, we're going to cover the terminology and how to uh, basically compare apples to apples on what's included with what. So we won't get into that here. But finally, out of the six options, you'll notice there is go with a remanufactured or new long block. That's pretty much what it is. This is going to get you totally around all of the EPA requirements. 
Uh, and it's basically a good example would be like if you had a a newer model engine and you had freeze damage and all of your accessories were still in good shape you can go that route just replace the long block probably want to look at replacing your exhaust manifolds as well but go with just a long block and put all your old accessories back onto it and go from there so once again uh, we realize this is somewhat complicated uh, hopefully this video is helpful for you and as always, if you have any questions, we'll be free, uh, happy to help you. Feel free to call us uh, at the number here at the top of the web page. Contact us, 405-533-3812. Or as always, you can use the online support help option for live technical support. Once again, we do appreciate your business, and we look forward to working with you in the future.